Vikes, I'm Allie and you're watching SVTV. Sophomores and juniors, Mac OS High Sierra should be installed on your laptops. This will be used for state testing. ACT prep classes start next week. The cost is $10. Check Schoology for more information. FCCLA is hosting a fundraiser for human trafficking victims. The seminar who brings in the most money gets a prize. The deadline is next Wednesday. Variety show auditions will start on February 13th. These will be open for all students and staff members. The theme for tonight's boys game at T-High is tie-dye. We'll catch up with Josh after this quick commercial break. Attention! 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 One night only! Wednesday, February 6th. Live at the Seaman High School Auditorium. Battle of the Band! Live rock and roll! Doors at 6.30, show at 7 p.m. Battle of the Band! Featuring... Femme Fatale! Kevin! Right side down! Untamed Mustang! <laughs> Wet Gravel! Battle of the Band! Three dollars in advance! Five dollars at the door! We'll sell you the seat, but you won't need it because you'll be on your feet all, all night, night long! Battle of the Bands! Happy TGIF! Let's take a look at your weather headlines over the next few days. Another cold day for today, but slightly warmer weather this weekend. However, it may feel like a heat wave come Sunday and then falling temperatures once again by the first day of next school week. So let's take a look first at the rest of today, a high of 37 degrees. Mostly cloudy skies through the afternoon, but by the evening hours, they should start to break up a little bit. We can't entirely rule out a flurry, but no accumulation is expected from any snowfall. And we are looking at, again, temperatures in the mid to upper 30s before they fall back into the upper 20s by 7 p.m. tonight. Now, they'll take a look at your weekend forecast as a whole. You can see 39 degrees on Saturday, so a slight improvement, also a few less clouds. Then Sunday, the pick of the weekend, mostly sunny skies as high temperatures return to the 40s. You probably haven't heard that in a while, but that's on the way for Sunday. Now, we have been talking about an Arctic blast next week. Here's how it looks. Sunday, that warmer weather trying to spill in from the Rockies. Monday, you can see some cooler weather starting to emerge, but here it comes on Tuesday, a big blast of Arctic air. And by Wednesday, the polar vortex has dived south into the northern United States, bringing us penguin-like weather for the middle of next week. And here's how that looks on the SBTV 7-day forecast. Highs in the 40s on Sunday are followed by 30s on Monday, windy conditions, a slight rain or snow chance, and falling temperatures. Then highs in the upper 20s heading toward the middle of next week. So overall, the next seven days are looking pretty cold. Allie, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great weekend.